Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics and in this video we will see what is Thevenin's theorem in the electrical circuit. So in the earlier videos of the network analysis, we had seen the different techniques like source transformation, Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law and star to delta and the delta to star conversion. And we had seen that using this technique how we can reduce the network and find the voltage or current across any element in the circuit. Now sometimes it may happen that your entire focus is across a particular element in the circuit and you want to find a voltage or current across this element. So let us say you have this circuit and in this circuit you want to find a voltage and current through this resistor R3. Now you will say that it is very easy to find a voltage and current through this resistor R3 using a Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. Well you are absolutely right. You can find a voltage and current using these two techniques. But what if I say that you need to find uh, the voltage and current across this two terminal AB for this 20 different values of this resistor R3. Because sometimes in the electrical circuit you need to see the behavior of the circuit for a different kind of loads. So if I say that you need to find a voltage or current across these two terminal AB for a different 20 values for this resistor R3 then if you apply this Kirchhoff's voltage law or Kirchhoff's current law then it will take a lot of time. So in such cases, the Thevenin's theorem is quite useful technique. So using this Thevenin's technique, you can replace the entire circuit across these two terminal AB by an equivalent voltage source in series with a equivalent resistance. So let us see this Thevenin's theorem. So using this Thevenin's theorem, any linear bilateral network containing voltage or current sources can be replaced by a equivalent voltage source in series with a equivalent resistance. Well, here the voltage and current source could be a dependent or a independent sources. And it doesn't matter how complex the network is, you can apply this Thevenin's theorem. So if we apply Thevenin's theorem in this circuit, then we can replace entire circuit by equivalent voltage source in series with a equivalent resistance across these two terminal AB. So in general, if you have any linear bilateral network, then you can replace that network by a equivalent voltage source in series with a equivalent resistance across its two terminal. Well, if you don't know about linear and bilateral network, you can check my video on classification of electrical network. The link for the same is given in the description below. Now in the equivalent circuit, this voltage is known as a Thevenin's voltage and the equivalent resistance is known as a Thevenin's resistance. So Thevenin's voltage is the voltage that you find across the network after removing the load. Now similarly the Thevenin's equivalent resistance is the resistance that you find across each two terminal after removing all the independent sources and replacing them by their equivalent resistance. So if you see any ideal voltage source, it has a zero series internal resistance. And similarly if you see any ideal current source, it has an infinite parallel internal resistance. So to find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, you can replace voltage source by a short circuit and current source by a open circuit. Now there are three different cases for this Thevenin's theorem. So let's see them one by one. So the first case is that the circuit contains all the independent sources. The second case is that the circuit contains independent as well as the dependent sources. And the third case is that the circuit contains only dependent sources. So we will see all the three cases with one example and we will see that how to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for all the three cases. So let us see the first case where the circuit contains all the independent sources. So if you see the circuit, the circuit contains a two independent voltage sources. And in this circuit, we need to find a Thevenin's equivalent circuit across this terminal A and B. So let us first of all find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. So to find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage, first of all, let's remove this load. And now let's apply a Kirchhoff's voltage law in this circuit. So let us assume that the current I is flowing in this direction in this circuit. So if we apply a Kirchhoff's voltage law, then we can write 10 is equal to 10I plus 10I plus 20. That means 20I is equal to minus 10 or we can write I is equal to minus 0.5 ampere. So here the negative side indicates that the current is flowing in the opposite direction. Now here the Thevenin's voltage is nothing but the voltage across this terminal A and B. So, so the voltage VAB will be 10 minus 
टेन इंटू आई दैट इज टेन माइनस टेन इंटू माइनस पॉइंट फाइव एम पी एर विच विल कम आउट टू बी अ फाइव वोल्ट सो इन दिस वे दैवीनियंस वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस टू टर्मिनल इज अ फाइव वोल्ट सो नाउ लेट्स फाइंड द थेवीनियंस इक्विलेंट रेजिस्टेंस सो टू फाइंड द थेवीनियंस इक्विलेंट रेजिस्टेंस वी विल टर्न ऑफ ऑल द सोर्सेस सो वी विल शॉर्ट सर्किट दिस टू वोल्टेज सोर्सेस सो इफ यू शॉर्ट दिस टू वोल्टेज सोर्सेस देन द इक्विलेंट सर्किट विल लुक लाइक दिस सो द इक्वेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस अक्रॉस दिस टू टर्मिनल ए बी इज नथिंग बट अ टू टेन ओम रजिस्टर्स इन पैरल सो आर टी एच विल बी नथिंग बट अ टेन ओम इन पैरल विथ अ टेन ओम सो द वैल्यू ऑफ आर टी एच विल बी फाइव ओम सो नाउ इफ यू ड्रॉ द थेवीनस इक्विलेंट सर्किट द सर्किट विल हैव अ थेवीनियंस वोल्टेज सोर्स इन सीरीज विथ अ इक्विलेंट थेवीनियंस रजिस्टेंस एंड वी हैव फाउंड दैट द थेवीनियंस वोल्टेज इज अ फाइव वोल्ट एंड थेवीनियंस इक्विलेंट रजिस्टेंस इज अ फाइव ओम सो नाउ लेट्स कनेक्ट द रजिस्टर अक्रॉस दिस टू टर्मिनल ए बी विच वी हैव रिमूव अर्लियर बिफोर द कैलकुलेशन एंड नाउ सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड अ वोल्टेज और करंट अक्रॉस दिस टू टर्मिनल ए बी देन यू कैन फाइंड इट इजीली सो इन दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड द थेवीनियंस इक्विलेंट सर्किट फॉर द केस वेर द सर्किट कंटेन्स ऑल द इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस नाउ लेट सी द सेकेंड केस वेर द सर्किट कंटेन्स इंडिपेंडेंट एज वेल एज अ डिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस सो इन दिस सर्किट वी विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड द थेवीनियंस इक्विलेंट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस टू टर्मिनल ए बी नाउ इफ यू सी दिस सर्किट दिस सर्किट कंटेन्स अ टू नोड्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट नोड ए एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड नोड लेट अस से दैट इज अ एक्स now the thevenin's voltage vth is nothing but a voltage across this two terminal ab so definitely the voltage at this node a will be nothing but a voltage vth now if you see these two nodes there is a voltage source between these two nodes so we can consider this node as a super node and we can treat these two nodes as a single entity so now let's apply a kcl at this super node so applying kcl we can write vx divided by 2 kilo ohm plus vx minus 5 divided by 2 kilo ohm plus at this end you can write vth divided by 1 kilo ohm is equal to 0 where vx is the voltage at this node x now if you see at this super node we can write vx minus vth is equal to 3 into vab and vab is nothing but a voltage across this terminal a and b and we can write vab as a vth so vx minus vth will become 3 vth and hence vx is equal to 4 vth so now we can put the value of this vx in this equation so putting this value we will get 4 vth divided by 2 kilo ohm plus 4 vth minus 5 divided by 2 kilo ohm plus vth divided by 1 kilo ohm is equal to 0 or we can write it as a 8 vth Minus five plus two vth is equal to zero. That means vth is equal to five divided by ten, hence point five. That means vth is equal to point five volt. So in this way we found a thevenin's voltage as a 0.5 volt. Now let us see how to find the thevenin's resistance when the circuit contains a independent as well as a dependent sources. So in such cases just short the terminal A and B where you want to find the equivalent resistance and find the short circuit current through this terminal A and B. So in this way you can find the thevenin's equivalent resistance. So now in this case if you see If you just short the two terminal A and B, then this one kilo ohm resistor will also get 
shorted. Also, as this terminal A and B are short circuited, the voltage across these two terminal A and B is zero, and hence this dependent voltage source will also get short circuited. So, if you see the equivalent circuit, the equivalent circuit will look like this. And in this equivalent circuit, if you see this two kilo ohm resistance also get short circuited. So, if you see the equivalent circuit, the equivalent circuit will have a five volt voltage source in series with a two kilo ohm resistor. And hence, the short circuit current can be given as five volt divided by two kilo ohm. That is two point five milliampere. So the Thevenin's resistance can be given as Thevenin's voltage divided by this short circuit current. And we found the Thevenin's voltage as a 0.5 volt, and we got a value of this short circuit current as a 2.5 milliampere. So we will get a value of Thevenin's resistance as a 200 ohm. So if we draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. It will look like this. It will have a 0.5 volt voltage source in series with a 200 ohm resistor. So in this way, we can find a equivalent Thevenin resistance in a case where the circuit contains independent as well as a dependent sources. Now let us see the third case where the circuit contains only the dependent sources. So in such cases where the circuit contains only the dependent sources, the value of a equivalent Thevenin voltage will be zero, as it doesn't contain any independent sources. Now, in such cases, to find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, just apply a test voltage or a test current across its two terminal. So, either apply a test current or a test voltage across these two terminal, and using this, we can find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So, suppose if you are applying a test current, then just find the voltage across this test current, and the ratio of this voltage divided by the value of this current will give you the Thevenin equivalent resistance. Similarly, suppose if you are applying a voltage as a test voltage across this two terminal, then the ratio of voltage divided by the current that is flowing through this test voltage will give you the Thevenin equivalent resistance. So, in this circuit, we will apply a test current of one ampere across these two terminals. So, the first thing that you will see here is a I one is equal to minus one ampere. So if you see here, the I one is equal to minus one ampere. So now let us apply a KCL at this node A. Let us assume that the VA is the voltage that is appearing across this current source. So we can write VA divided by four plus VA minus three I one divided by Six is equal to one ampere. Now already we have found that the I one is equal to minus one ampere. So we can write it as a V A divided by four plus V A plus three divided by six is equal to one. Or we can write it as a three V A plus two V A plus six is equal to twelve. That means five V A is equal to six, or we can write V A is equal to six by five. So we will get V A as one point two volt, and hence the value of the Thevenin's resistance will be nothing but this value of V A divided by this test current, that is one ampere. So we will get value of the Thevenin's resistance as a one point. Ohm. So in this way, if the circuit contains only a dependent sources, then by applying a test current or a test voltage, we can find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So before I end up this video, let us briefly see this Norton's theorem, as this theorem is dual of the Thevenin's theorem. So in the Thevenin's theorem, we had seen that any linear bi-electrical network can be converted into the equivalent voltage source in series with the equivalent resistance. Now according to the Norton's theorem. You can replace any linear bilateral network by a equivalent current source in parallel with a equivalent resistance. So, if you have any linear bilateral network, then you can replace it by a equivalent current source 
in parallel with a one equivalent resistance across its two terminal where this current source is known as a norton current and the equivalent resistance is known as a norton equivalent resistance so now norton's theorem is exactly a dual of thevenin's theorem so if suppose someone tells you to find a norton's equivalent circuit for the all the previous example that we had seen then just by using the source transformation you can find a norton's equivalent circuit that means this current in is nothing but vth near by rth and this norton equivalent resistance is nothing but a thevenin's equivalent resistance so any circuit in which we have found the thevenin's voltage and the thevenin's resistance using the source transformation you can transform it into the equivalent norton circuit if you don't know what is the source transformation then you can check my video on a source transformation so i hope in this video you understood what is thevenin's theorem in the electrical circuit and using this thevenin's theorem how easily we can solve the circuit problems so if you have any question or suggestion please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos